I'm a dog lover. Are you a dog, dog lover? Dog lovers. Dog lovers. Got dogs. Love dogs. Dog. I love dogs. Oh, and that's like your I famous do. thing. It is like that's a no for me dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, know, you know how we do. It's like know. my favorite gift to use. Don't say that today. That's a yes for me dog. I'll, I'll earn it. I'll it's earn a yes it. for me dog. Okay. Well, wait, our next guest is also a massive dog lover, and he's come up with a creative way to not only help pups in need, but also keep miles and miles of discarded rock climbing rope out of landfills, which is so important. Uh, from Ropes for Rescues in San Francisco, say hi to Ryan, everybody. So explain how Ropes for Rescues works. Uh, so Ropes for Rescues is a recycling program mm. where we take old climbing ropes, we repurpose them into uh, durable dog leashes, yeah. and then the climbers that donate their rope pick their favorite animal rescue that we donate 10% of the physical leashes to. Yeah. So we started with like local rescues in California, but we're up to 318 rescues now from here to uh, Australia. Oh, so wow. like, I would have never thought Beautiful. to do that. It's so like, what, how did you come up with the idea? Like, who you just are you a climber? Like, how did uh, this happen? I was I was getting into climbing, me and my friends. Okay. But I also adopted an Australian Shepherd named Rascal, and I he love Australian Shepherd. yeah, beautiful dogs. Yeah, you got it. <gasps> that's my boy. That's so amazing. he uh, he was also a terror. So he chewed our couch, our shoes, <laughs> sure. the sides of our walls, uh, sure. and our leashes. So I got tired of buying leashes, and I started making them out of one of our old ropes. Yeah. And then started giving them away as gifts to friends. And then the and response then you're like, was, "Wait a minute, I can make money on this and help people." Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so I overpromised people. And my oh. friends started like busting my chops about not making them leashes. So I thought of the idea of giving back to rescues, talk to the owner of the climbing gym I go to. Yeah. And he was all for it. So Touchstone Climbing Gyms has been donating since 2012. Because why do they donate? Do the ropes get old or they can't, they're not safe to use or something? Exactly. So ah. they're dynamic climbing ropes. So they, I don't climb. So they're like, they're like bungee Ever. cords. They're like yeah. strong bungee cords. Ah, okay. So they have some stretch to them, but over time, they over wear and tear. They're like Spanx, you can only use them so many times. <laughs> yeah, I can only assume. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I can only assume too. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We heard. Yeah, we I heard, heard from, from a friend. Yeah. Um, so, wait, so it's nice to have that personal touch. I love that because you said the climbers, like, because you do something different with like, if they're like high profile climbers, you do something different. You charge right. a little bit more, right? Well, like each rope has a history about where the rope has been used to climb. Yeah. And then it tells you where the rope gets donated to. That's but cool. we do occasionally get a uh, high profile famous climber to donate. So, like uh, Lynn Hill, for example, she's like a Yosemite legend. Yeah. She's like a 5 2 powerhouse badass. Like, she is, uh, she's the first person to climb the, free climb the nose of El Cap. Wow. And uh, so, and if you, if you know anything about El Cap, it's not a I know a mountain. so much yeah. about El Cap. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no joke. Yeah, Michael and I were just there. We were just, we you, were climbing. You know, you know what's weird? I, it's fascinating how, what a massive culture the climbing thing. My father mm -hmm. opened the first indoor rock climbing gym in Canada. Called, really? Called the, called the Rock House. And I worked there okay. for years. Yes. And I would sit as the blaze. You know, I would do the blaze for these little oh, kids at parties and stuff. Yeah, but Are you it's still amazing a climber? how massive the world is. Mm -hmm. Are you still a climber? Uh, that means no. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. It's it's, and it's amazing, though, how connected that those groups are all mm -hmm. over the world. Like, there's way more people than we think that yeah. are massively into this. It's yeah. Huge. In my mind, I think I'm going to climb Mount Everest, but I haven't done it yet. Okay. <laughs> In my mind. Yeah, yeah. There's, I just there's love baby that people have there. done it, and I can look at their pictures. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then you feel like you're there, you know? Yeah. Like I No, I did used to, in my 20s, I love, like, backpacking. I love doing mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. I just, yeah, I got old. Um, but um, <laughs> we have some of the ro Ropes for Rescues leashes here. I think Justin has some, because you you brought some. So I wait. know you guys are dog people, so I, I got you I love you a my couple. Henry. Whoa, yes. These are so cute, by the way. Dude. It's amazing, yeah. So wait, I mentioned... so wait, there's little notes on them. Oh, this is from Lynn Hill. Yeah, so this a is... A fellow climber. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is from Lynn Hill's uh, 25th anniversary of doing that famous route. Yeah. And when we have a famous climber that donates, we mark the prices up, but we donate 50% of the sales to their favorite animal rescue. Yeah. So hers goes to a, a pit bull rescue in Georgia called Friends of the Forlorn. Mm. So we've already donated 50% uh, of the projected sales of that, but that's a, that's a gift for you, for, uh, Thank for you. you and Henry. That's so yep. awesome. Brilliant. And then I, I know you have two dogs. So yeah. You have uh, one from Barbara. And one from or one from Rachel, but I know it says Sydney on there. Yeah, it's so, a fake out. Yeah, it's a fake out. <laughs> right. So, so Sydney is Rachel's husky. So she wanted her leashes to be named after her dog. I love that. Yeah, such so, so a sweet pup. Wait, whose is yours? My, my. Um, what, tell me about this. Yeah. So 
So I actually have another one uh, with Michael, your namesake. So yeah. Michael's a climber out of uh, Santa Cruz. He's a uh, retired professional climbing guide. He used that to climb in the, the Alaska Range, uh, Cascades. And in my home, British Canada. Columbia, yeah. Yep, wow. exactly. Very cool, yeah. So, uh, and then he adopted his dogs for the Santa Cruz shelter, so that's where the donation That's went. so cool, dude. That's oh, man, so bless cool. you, man. You're cool, man. I appreciate this is great. it. This is such a cool, innovative idea. How can you just donate on your site, too, if people just want to donate money? Yeah. Okay. Yep. What's the site there called? It's uh, Ropes for Rescues. R R okay, that's yeah. very, yep, the name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. might edit that out. Or yeah. keep it in, because I don't mind looking like an idiot. Um, uh, but uh, people can like, also... Is it .net.com? Yes. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> So people can also sponsor a leash for their favorite rescue for a cheaper price. Yeah. So in their name, we'll donate a leash to their favorite rescue. Oh my God, my mama's gonna be hitting y'all well up. Like, <laughs> this is like right up my mom's alley. Thank nice. you so much, Thank Ryan. you very this much. Is so cool.